massive video just broke out Secret Service. This is huge. Four terrible things the US did to its own citizens. Before we can start the video, I would like to encourage all of you to watch the video until the end and share your personal opinions in the comment section down below about four terrible things the US did to its own citizens. This will help us create an amazing and vibrant community here on YouTube and I thank you very much for that. Number 1. Project MKUltra The Tuskegee syphilis experiment wasn't the only time the government used citizens for experiments either. During the Cold War, the CIA commissioned Project MKUltra in an attempt to identify drugs that could be used for torture and to force the victim to divulge secrets to mind control. Initially, CIA officials used victims that could not fight back, but eventually widened the scope. The program was sanctioned despite the fact that it used test subjects who were unaware and unwilling to participate. Methods used included administration of LSD, barbiturate, 4 amphetamine, 4 heroin, morphine and mescaline with non-drugs methodologies including sleeping deprivation, isolation, sensory deprivation, verbal and sexual abuse and various forms of torture. Project MK Ultra was performed on a host of Americans throughout various institutions including hospitals, colleges, prisons and pharmaceutical companies. One of the victims of the study was Ted Katzniski, better known as the Unabomber. Number 2 The Murder of Fred Hampton It's horrific to think that a government could murder one of its own citizens, but that is exactly what happened to Fred Hampton, a revolutionary and political organizer. One of Hampton's most powerful achievements was negotiating an non-aggression pact between Chicago's most violent street gangs. Hampton was seen as a charismatic leader and quickly rose throughout the ranks of the Black Panthers. The Black Panthers began to splinter as a result of Co-Intel Pro and Hampton worked hard to keep the party together, something that did not sit well with J. Edgar Hoover. In 1967, the FBI opened a file on Hampton that would eventually expand to over 4,000 pages. The night before his murder, Hampton dined with several affiliates and was uh, slipped a powerful barbiturate by an FBI informant. Police officers uh, raided Hampton's home at 4 a.m. and murdered Hampton along with Mark Clark, another party member. In a press conference after the murder, officers stated that they had defended themselves against a violent group of Panthers. Charges of aggravated assault and attempted murder against all other Panthers arrested that night were later dropped. Number 3. Capital Punishment The use of capital punishment is a long debate topic, but what cannot be argued is that sometimes the wrongful convicted find themselves on that row. Some have been uh, executed before the chance of exoneration. A recent study estimated that 4.1% of that row defendants would be cleared if held on sentences of death indefinitely. The study highlights that it is unknowable 
to determine the accuracy of criminal conviction because there is no systemic methods of review. However, in cases of death row, a process does exist. As a result, we are able to know and determine a rate of exoneration for death row defendants. One tragic case involved the execution of Cameron Todd Willingham. In 1992, he was convicted of murdering his three young child children by arson. Stopped to the Garney, Willingham yielded that he was an innocent man, but his protests were ignored. The Innocent Project began looking into Williams' case and in 2006 submitted forensic evidence that proved his pleas were rotten in fact. Willingham is just one of the many that have been killed for crimes they didn't commit. Number 4. The Drone Killing of a U.S. Teenager in recent years, the US military has greatly increased the use of drones in the fight against terrorism, and nations like Yemen and Pakistan have left the bronze with many human rights organizations documenting the great civilian casualties. Sometimes even American citizens met their demise by predator drones. Abdul Harman Anwar al aigi was a 16-year-old boy living in Yemen who was killed while eating dinner at an outdoor restaurant. Like his father, he was an American citizen, but became an inadvert target due to his dad's work as a propagandist of Al-Qaeda. It remains unknown why Abdul Raham was killed, as the CIA had already killed Anwar al and the young boy had no affiliation with any terrorist organization. Anonymous tips have indicated that the intended target was Ibrahim al-Banan, a senior Al-Qaeda operative, and that Blurain's death is typically chuckled up to merely being in the wrong place at the wrong time. As always, dear friends, in the second part of the video, I am encouraging you, the viewer, to share your personal patriotic opinions about the four terrible things the US did to its own citizens. Tell us your opinion about Project MK Ultra, about murder of Fred Hampton, about capital punishment, and about the drone who killed of a US teenager. By sharing your patriotic opinions in the comment section down below, you help us ensure and create an amazing and vibrant community here on YouTube. I thank you very much for that.